Number one is deem. Uh, when you deem something, that means you are uh, you are regarding it as something or considering it as something. Uh, you are saying it is in your thought. You think it is like this, uh, or designating something. Uh, when when a man is in his forties and has been uh, gambling regularly and he's not married, I would probably deem him. Uh, <laughs> maybe I would deem him uh, some kind of. Uh, gambling addict. Uh, it's just an example. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number two, resonate. Uh, resonate is actually a very kind of a very powerful um, uh, thing that people say nowadays. It's it's to say that you uh, understand something, but not just understand or comprehend something, but it it really hits you in the heart. You really feel it. So if someone gives a speech and it's a really good speech. And uh, you meet that person after, you, you know, a lot of times you see it in movies as well. People will say, wow, your, your speech really resonated with me. The, the meaning and the idea behind that really touched me. Number three, um, oral tradition is basically um, uh, I, I would say it's, it's kind of like the passing of stories or tales. Uh, from generation to generation, like just like old stories and stuff that just get passed down. Number three, uh, three, I can't count. Number four, venture. Uh, when you make a venture, it's uh, some kind of um, maybe a, a business risk or enterprise or uh, a new business um, uh, direction. A business venture can be anything. It, it can be like starting your own business, like a small business, or if you already work inside of a business and your business is trying to expand in different business areas, those are also considered to be business ventures as well. Number five, business endeavor. A business endeavor is basically um, any kind of... Uh, uh, focus or objective or uh, you know the area that your business is uh, is uh, very active with and usually when you're trying to uh, do well with your endeavor it means that you are trying to do well with your um, your 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 objective so basically a, a business endeavor can be like um, if you take Google, for example, Google has many business endeavors, uh, not just search, but they also have uh, a lot of work with AI. Those are some of the business endeavors that, that Google has. Number six, superstitious. Superstitious is kind of fun. It's basically anything that is um, maybe uh, some kind of fiction or uh, belief that's not real or definitely disputable. So, you know, when people are superstitious, uh, it can be like if you believe in ghosts, if you believe in bad luck. Every culture has their own superstitions and their own superstitious people. And it's usually the older people who have like all these superstitions who are very superstitious. So people are superstitious. They have superstitions, which is the noun. Mm -hmm. Number seven, get in on the action is, is kind of a, a, a phrase to say that you are trying to jump in uh, to some kind of activity that's going well. Uh, so when there is uh, a lot of money to be made in a, in a new business endeavor, a lot of different companies will try to get in on the action. They want to jump in and compete. They want to try and get a piece of it. And that's our vocabulary for today.